Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, Ali Zidini Shafiri. In this video, I'm going to see how you can use the new photo picker API to pick photos and videos from your user app, from your user gallery. And we will see also the previous method on how to do that. Yeah, let's get started. So here I'm having a simple Android Studio project with like normal view system. It doesn't matter, you can use view system or Jetra Compose. So today we are going to present just an activity result contract. So you can use it with Jetra Compose as I said. All right. So previously, in order to grab some photos from the user or images or like normal videos, you have to do like we had two methods, one that require permissions and the other that won't. OK, so we will start with the first one. Like I will just show you the first one that required permission. Sometimes you have to define the read external storage. Sometimes you would have to define this one, read external storage, and also the write of external storage. And sometimes if you want to access photos that other apps have created, you would have to do something like media, image, video, something like that, and use the content resolver in order to grab those photos. This would require permissions and some setup. So it will be like if you require it, you have to do it that way. But we do have also another way to use like the normal storage access framework. So what you have to do is simply define some internet like the following. Here, is, here it is. You will have to set the type, the category, and the my type. Of course, it is just an action of the document. As I said, it doesn't require any permission. Here, I think I'm having this one, pick image. I will do lash photo pick. So just click this there and start it. Let's start the app. I do have one image I downloaded in the downloads. So here is the app here. If I click on pick, it will show me this photo picker. It's not a photo picker. It's like an open document. Here you will see the gallery and all other folders that you can get from some images using this storage access framework. If I click on this one, to get me some URI, but I didn't display any URI here. You can do some refactoring to this one using the activity contracts. Let me show you how to do that. So here you define a class called, let's call it pick photo flasher, for example. So here you would have to extend from the activity contract, this one. Here you define the input and the output. You don't have any inputs, but we do have an output, which will be URI like that, override methods. Sorry, I'll write them both. Here we need intent to start this thing. And this is our intent here. Okay, we we'll just return this intent. We can do some refactoring here. Let me just do that. Like it's not kind of using the apply method. It's more suitable for these cases. We can do something like that. And basically we can align the return. So this is it for here. Here, well, you check the intent for the data, but the problem, it will be nullable. So yeah, it will be nullable if you are right. This one here also. Okay. So this one would clash photo picker, like we don't use this start activity for result. So here, what you have to do is to define the launcher. Okay, let's call it private val, sure, something like that. And it will be, register activity for result. Here we will pass the one we created and we will define the result as lambda. We will just print it here. It will print the URI. And here what we will do, we will do lasher and we must pass units. If we pass null, it will crash. So we we'll just pass the unit object. So as unit is the object, by the way. Let me just lash it. So here we will see it in the series. We lash the API, we do pick, voila. As you can see, here is the document. This is the previous way. It was working, at, it, it's still working fine, but the new photo picker API enables for like more access, seamless access, but requires, as I said, API 33. Like the app here should target, target SDK should be 33. What we need to change is only this one. You go to activity before I forget, you will need also the dependency of activity KTX. You would require that. Here, activity contracts with the S, you will say, let me just port it. You will say, I think it's called pick visual media. Exactly. Pick visual media. We have to pick visual media and pick multiple visual media. We'll start with the first one. We'll define it like that. We'll get in your eye. So we'll print it. So here, what you have to create is to create a request called pick visual media request. And here within that request, 
you will define like default one is image and video. You can check it here. It's called pick visual media. Go to pick visual media like that. And here you check image only, image and video, video only, and so on. There is this method if you want to know if this is available. So before checking it, for example, you can do the following, sorry. Here, before you do the request, you would check if it is available in your device. You can go with it because, as I said, it requires a guy 33. And here, what you should define, as I said, which is only the type of the thing you want to get. If you want only images, images and videos, or videos only. Okay, I use images here. And I think I can launch it here. I don't think it will work because it is only API audio. If you click on pick, it won't work because it isn't available. But this is the way on how to do it. And this will check only for Tiramisu, which is 33. So this is it for this one. Well, there is this one also, which is multiple vision media. And here there is a nice parameter, which is max item, for example. You can say two, I want two as max, the user will be able to set only two, or you can clear it 100 or 10 or 1000. It doesn't matter. So just to mention, this is required, like this is important, so you know if you are running on this device, so you can launch it that way. Otherwise, you can use normal photo picker launcher and it will work just fine. It's not deprecated, it's work fine and uses the open like storage access free. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video at the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.